my marching orders are... Hi, how are you guys?
associated death toll in the area country which includes the city of Buffalo East as parts of the Western Europe remain buried under up to 43 inches of snow causing vehicles to get stuck and cut off power of thousands of people during the Christmas holidays. Total eight months later, a historic blizzard hit the region. At least 27 people have died in the country area in New York. It's a severe winter storm that has hit much of the United States in recent days county of Southside bring the national death toll 49. Most of the loss of life occurred in the around Buffalo of the shores of Lake Erie in western New York. A strange ring cold and heavy lake heavy snow, the result of cold air moving the water, lake water continuing throughout the whole day weekend. Erie country exclusive Mark Palancaz said the confirmed death toll from the storm rose three reported overnight in the Buffalo area. Among the latest victims some they found in cars and some in snow trees. Palancaz said adding the death toll was likely to rise. While driving banks have been lifted in some communities, one such order reminds place in Buffalo. Palonkin said describing the city as impossible in the most areas, with abandoned cars scattering all over the place. Despite the area country, Sheriff George Garcia argued resident to stay at home. He told CNN to keep the roads clear for emergency crews. over 415 inches of snow per year. Wind is also an issue in the Sierra Nevadas. Gusts over 100 miles per hour are common when winter storms slam into the pass. This is exactly what we faced during our January 2010 visit to Donner. Despite the weather, the main line must stay open. And like the mountains, the trains themselves take on a whole new appearance. We are back in Truckee. This time, the empty yard is a hive of activity, as this is the base for Union Pacific's snow fighting operations on Donner. Three spreader sets are seen in the yard, including the newly refurbished SPMW 4031 and 4032. Several GP38 2s have icebreakers and winter windows installed. At the time of our visit, double stack trains were fairly new to the hill, having just come off the Feather River Canyon two months earlier. An eastbound rolls through Truckee, while a westbound waits for a clear shot through the big hole. UP-600 enters Truckee, pulling a flanger used for removing snow from between the rails. During our five-day visit in January, UP-600 was always on the move, flanging between Truckee and Fulda west of Emirate Gap, and even making trips to Sparks.
After being turned on the balloon track, the 600 flanger is sent back up the mountain. Another winter storm is slamming into the Sierras, and crews will be busy tonight, keeping the main line open. During our January 2010 visit to Donner, despite the weather, the main line must stay open. And like the mountains, the trains themselves take on a whole new appearance. We are back in Truckee. This time, the empty yard is a hive of activity, as this is the base for Union Pacific's snow fighting operations on Donner. Three spreader sets are seen in the yard, including the newly refurbished SPMW 4031 and 4032. Several GP38 2s have icebreakers and winter windows installed. At the time of our visit, double stack trains were fairly new to the hill, having just come off the Feather River Canyon two months earlier. An eastbound rolls through Truckee, while a westbound waits for a clear shot through the big hole. UP-600 enters Truckee, pulling a flanger used for removing snow from between the rails. During our five-day visit in January, UP-600 was always on the move, flanging between Truckee and Fulda west of Emigrant Gap, and even making trips to Sparks. After being turned on the balloon track, the 600 flanger is sent back up the mountain. Another winter storm is slamming into the Sierras, and crews will be busy tonight, keeping the main line open. As the flanger departs Truckee, the radio crackles with activity as spreaders are readied in the yard. The 600 diverges onto the number two track as it departs west out of Truckee. Moments later, an eastbound empty grain train appears on track one through the snow. The clear block for Main 2 is for a stack train which will follow the flanger up the hill.
Truckee is at an elevation of 5,817 feet, and there is considerable snow on the ground here. Snowshoeing into Norden at over 7,000 feet, we find considerably more. These snow sheds look a bit different than they did during our September visit. From the old number one track which was removed, we view a westbound stack train as it approaches Norden after exiting Tunnel 41. Snow is piling up around the lodge at Soda Springs as we set up on a snowbank to catch another westbound stack train appearing out of Winter's White. Visibility has decreased as UP 600 flanges past our location at Soda Springs. Behind the flanger, an eastbound BNSF trackage rights train works upgrade.
soon as we clear that signal. Back in Truckee, the weather worsens as UP-600 is ballooned again and sent back up the mountain. Although it's hard to tell, UP 5710 is holding short of the Soda Springs crossing for traffic to clear through the big hole. The wind kicks up the snow as westbound stacks approach. Moving farther down the mountain between Soda Springs and Troy, UP-600 heads down track two, escorting the westbound California Zephyr, which is just a few miles behind. Photographer Kevin Dorn weathers the storm while waiting for our next move. Two spreaders are on their way back up the mountain after working down to Fulda. Soon they appear coupled together on the number one track with the nose plow of SPMW 4034 cleaning the snow from between the rails as it passes by. Spreaders me to westbound Z.
Another westbound stack train passes our location near milepost 188.5. I spent the Emperor's birthday digging out the Historic blizzard. Snow is just coming down. Winds are like.
Δεύτερη χρονιά στην Αθήνα. Δεύτερα χρονιά. Kızım el salla, izgi.